Hi, this is Meredith Lego, and I'm doing a series of videos on Ascension Science. A lot of the content that I'm reviewing has come to me through a connection that I've made with an Ascended being called um, Ascended Master Hilarion, and that is nothing more um, referencing that the fact that he has ascended the incarnational um, life cycle, if you will, and um, I've been able to connect with him through quantum entanglement to sort of understand how that happens um, and you know how in order to help us um, the last few videos that I've done have touched upon the Sun the photons how photons carry information codes that can actually cause um, changes and alterations within our DNA that help us evolve as a species over time but it's not just the evolution of our physical body it's actually the evolution of all of our bodies between our mental body our emotional body um, and um, some of the other multi-dimensional bodies that we have and those changes can actually then become more coded within our etheric blueprint body um, so that's important and also if you're new to this channel um, I would encourage you to go back to the beginning I try and keep these videos relatively short in size because a lot a lot of the content was passed on to me sort of as a foundational building block of material that kind of built upon the next set of learnings very much like, um, let's say, a science book, you know, where you're kind of starting at the beginning and starting to build up in knowledge. Um, so within, within that, kind of following on the theme of the sun um, basically sending off information codes that, and the sun is, is very much connected to other suns and other stars etherically, and um, information is coming to it from another source called the, the central sun, um, which resides in the Andromeda, Andromeda galaxy. Um, Essentially, I did ask uh, Hilarion in this particular session um, a couple questions. You know, it wasn't really dealing with the concept of, of sort of sun and DNA codes, um, but I thought it, it matched as an interesting way because it's how information flows up from the earth. So the question that I asked is, um, you know, what is the number one item I can do to raise my vibration in the next 24 hours? <laughs> so I'll provide an answer on that. And then what is the vibration I'm starting to feel come up through my root chakra? Um, so if you're watching this channel and have kind of um, watched previous videos, you would have learned or heard about the whole concept of the chakra system as being sort of um, portals or gateways between um, your physical body and the subtle energy um, environment or uh, field that we live in. And these, these chakras are nothing more than portal points that helps subtle energies pass between the two and the way that the energies sort of connect in your body is mostly through the endocrine system. So his answer is that um, raising the vibrations um, can come in many ways, but the most efficient is doing the activities and being around energies that bring you joy and bliss. You give off an emotion that is a higher rate. So simply following your passion each and every day is already in alignment with the desire of your soul. So it will always bring, be in your highest good, even if it doesn't make you happy. <clears throat> Some directions your higher self leads you to may bring much challenge and hardship. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yet it is the very experience or lesson your soul needs to make the next big evolutionary leap to the next highest state of consciousness. So I think that this particular answer, which was um, answering my first question about really <clears throat> what I could be doing to raise my vibration, you know, in 24 hour time period, was the same <clears throat> coaching that has always been given, which is just do what makes you happy and be around, you know, energies that make you happy. Think about things that make you happy, you know, and and by doing that, you simply transmute or shift your, your own vibrational frequency in that moment. <clears throat> so that, that doesn't necessarily change. But for the second question, you know, what is the vibration that um, I'm starting to feel come up through my root um, chakra? So if you're familiar with the chakra system, you should know where that is. But you, if you aren't, the root chakra is sort of like at the base of the perineum um, inside of the physical body. So it's kind of the area within the legs. And there's um, sort of a cone that goes down of energy. Um, it's a, not a cone you can see, obviously, but it's a cone that kind of emanates out. And you can um, actually control the cone in terms of like its um, uh, you know, width going out as well as its um, 
rotation <clears throat> when you start to, to better feel into the subtle energies that are around you in the um, kind of the source field. And um, so he essentially says that, oh, to back up. So I, I um, you know, when I was asking this question, there seemed to be just a lot of energies that were flowing up. Um, and, you know, I could actually feel them flow up because I, um, one of the first senses that turned on for me when I started awakening was uh, clair clairsentience, which means you have the ability to feel energy um, kind of moving around you. And oftentimes I can feel energy around different chakra points um, in, a, in a big way. And this particular day, day it was uh, quite intense. So what he said is that the vibration you feel are energies emanating up from the earth, entering into your body and flowing up the spinal column. This energy is more intense because the energy raising up from earth is vibrating at a higher rate. The energy can be measured in the Schumann resonance. It is well that you can feel the subtle differences in frequencies through the body. Working on lifting that energy in, through, and around your being. Um, uh, so let me back up and reread that. Work on lifting that energy in, through, and around your being. For this too will increase your vibration and alter your DNA codes. Um, so going back to the last video that I did, um, actually the last series of videos really talks about the fact that photons, um, can, uh, carry information codes and that has, um, been, you know, um, hopefully I showed you some examples of how that was proven scientifically over time and how I was guided to learn about that. But in addition to that, a lot of the information codes are being, um, fed to us from, the sun and different stars. And obviously the sun is connected to other sun and other stars where this information is flowing in. But when it comes in, not only does it hit us, but it also hits the earth. <laughs> so it has a great impact on changing the dynamics of the frequency within the earth. Now the earth um, obviously can pick up to those solar frequencies and it can also very much pick up to the dynamics of the consciousness of the inhabitants on the earth. Um, and so, you know, we have the ability to influence the Earth's vibrational frequency um, sometimes, but obviously Earth is very powerful, Guy is very powerful. So in this particular case, as the energies are hitting the Earth, um, as, as they're shifting the vibrational frequency, in this particular case it was raising it, I was able to feel it come up um, kind of through the Earth um, into the body. And, and I did look, and on that particular day, the Schumann resonance was going very, very high. Um, and I didn't know that when it was going on, but I kind of checked into it later in the day. So again, what he's saying is that, um, you know, obviously if you can work on understanding and starting to feel for those subtle shifts within your body, um, just you'll have more awareness that this is going on and it can work to obviously alter your DNA codes because those sorts of energies um, can be carrying... Um, again, different different codes um, that, that can have an influence on your DNA. So that that it's not a direct, you know, question answer in terms of, hey, what's going on with the sun? How does it, you know, impact the earth and how does the earth energies then impact us? But um, he sort of circuitously um, answered a question at a time that I was asking about different uh, um, uh, trying to better understand uh, there's this what was going on with the sun and um, you know how how photons and light sort of impact or influence the evolution of humanity. So with that, um, hope that helps supply you with uh, learning more information than you necessarily knew before. And again, if this resonates with you, great. If it doesn't, you know, leave behind what doesn't resonate with you. Um, and if you're new to the channel, I would encourage you to subscribe and um, continue to look or uh, basically uh, um, sign up for alerts so that you can see when I'm posting new content. With that, have a really great rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.